Hey friends, so it is Monday. Yes, a brand new day. Instead of looking at it as, hmm, Monday, let's look at it as, oh my goodness, I can't wait to see what God is going to have ahead of us. Because when we get to Friday, we might want to look back and go, what was Thursday like? Wednesday, Tuesday, Mo Oh my goodness, all that happened. Yeah, so let's be excited for Mondays because we have a whole week to live out. That's wonderful, that's an exciting thing. That's not a hmm thing, that's exciting. It's an adventure. So let's start our adventure for today with going to 1 Corinthians 15, 19, which says, if in Christ we have hope in this life only, we are of all people to be pitied most. Mm. Well, let's keep going, right? Yes. So people have varied opinions about Jesus. Many think that he was a good teacher with insightful wisdom. Others think that his compassionate life provides a good example to follow, but not much more than that. Still others believe that he died as a rebel opposed to Roman overlords and religious leaders of that day. To believe such things about our Savior is to live without hope or, at the most, to have hope in this life only. Jesus is a wise teacher and a good example, but he is so much more than that. Jesus is the promised Messiah and the Son of God. He did die on the cross, but not as a rebel, but as the perfect Lamb of Sacrifice. On the third day, he rose from the dead, the guarantee that we too will rise and live in his presence forever. Forever. That's hard to imagine, isn't it? Let's pray. Jesus, fill us with the joy of your resurrection. In your name we pray, amen, amen. Okay, my friends, so now our challenge for today. Even now, today, right here, right now, at the start of Lent, invite someone to share the joy of Easter with you. And the extra verses that we're going to read through are going to be 1 Corinthians 15, 19 through 22. Go ahead and turn your Bible to that. You won't be disappointed. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Bye!